Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. I'm going to make this short and sweet. I know that not liking things from China is a thing. All the knives I have, I pay for them. I'm from an era where you don't tell a grown man how to spend his money. I love wee knives, especially the ones I buy. If you don't like this, go somewhere else. Because right now, I'm going to talk about wee knives. Okay? So let's talk about the knife of the day. The knife of the day today is the Wee Knife Company Array. The Wee Knife Company Array. And I'll tell you, I was late coming to Wee Knives. You guys know me. I'm a Spidacle, Chris Reeve, <laughs> Browse Blades kind of guy. And I bought my first Wii knife, and then I cherry pick them because some of their bulkier ones I'm not that happy about. I will show you a couple more Wii knives, one of which is a little bit more bulky than I'm usually with, but the fit and finish is so great. This array is unbelievable. Now, people who don't have it in hand, who have never touched it, will say, yeah. But for the price, it's so expensive. It's, I think Blade HQ has it for $250. From China. The blade steel is S35VN steel. That is a great steel all around stainless steel. But let me tell you, this thing is so solid. It is so well done with so many little bits and pieces to it that I really like. I love bronze and light bronze, and when they do it, anodization, I just really like the touches that Wee Knife does on some of their knives, and this is one of them. So let's talk about the knife company, a Wee Knife Array. So it's a drop point blade, as you can see, Funky at the tip. I don't know what you'd call that, but it is drop point. See how it sharpens and how it's a little different up at the tip? A fuller at the top. It's almost like a nail nick, but you don't open it up that way. This is a flipper. CPM S35VN steel. Hey, listen, I have a collection of some of the most varied steels you can ever imagine, okay? I really do, but S30V and S35VN has gotten such a, and I get it, when you're in a collector's community, everyone wants to be different, And but man, this is great steel. Yes, they have upgraded it to S45VN uh, steel, but this is a great stainless steel, okay? Um, 3.7 inches. It's a bigger knife than I usually like, but I have discovered that a lot of these Wii knives, they're so thin. I mean, this thing is thin. I'm going to compare this to a Paramilitary 2 and a Chris Reeves Sabenza 31 at the end. Same size as big, but it's so thin and compact and so solid. It's unbelievable. One thing about Wii knives, look at that blade. Just pristine blade. Not a lot of writing and logo stuff on it. There is a logo at the pivot, which I love. 3.7 inch blade. The edge is 3.1 inches. The total length is 8.4 inches. And it weighs 3.4 ounces. Now this is a... This is a thin knife... But man, you can really feel, feel the significance of this knife. That titanium frame is everything. First, it flips flawlessly. But this thing is titanium. And let me see if I can get closer. It just really reminds me of Art Deco kind of styling. But look at... The bronze anodization, how they did it 
every other is light, how they rimmed it with light bronze, a small backspacer that goes into the lanyard hole. Look, even at the bottom, all of these ridges that you feel carved into it. Now remember, this is a production knife. <laughs> I mean, it has a lot of like custom touches on the back. This is a right-handed tip-up knife only. Right hand tip-up only. It is a frame lock knife. Comes out of the box, smooth as silk. <laughs> it's just a wonderful thin knife. The only one thing, you know, because it's so thin and I got these big fat hands, when I'm flipping it, I just have to make sure <laughs> that my fingers <laughs> are on the handle. But let me tell you, with the grooves inside, it gives you a little bit of gripping, but not that much. Oh man, guys. I love this knife. This has been on my desk since I bought it. I haven't, I've put it on Instagram, but I haven't showed you guys yet because I have so many knives and a lot of spiticles coming in and out that I just haven't had time. But the details of this thing is unbelievable. Yes, it has a small backspacer, so it's easy to clean. Thin pocket clip that works great and just disappears I mean you don't feel that it's there at all oh, look at the jimping it's not the kind that bites into your fingers and leaves it bleeding but you feel it I mean you feel that jimping this is a great EDC knife and a great tactical knife when you start looking at that edge. Just look at it. It's so well done. Satin around the edges of the frame, I mean of the blade, it gives you that nice look. Yes, there's that look but it's so solid. It's funny, you know, this is one of those knives. Now it's 3.4 ounces, so it's not super light, but it's almost thin enough that you can, you could actually wear this, you know, in your dress shirt pocket. Let me see, I have a bunch of knives. Here's the CEO, it's on my desk. I didn't even know I was gonna bring it up today. So the CEO, of course, super thin. This is my only CRKT knife, and I love it because of just how super thin. I actually have brought this out and put it in my shirt pocket like an ink pen. Even the clip is like an ink pen, but you can see, yes, this is a little bit wider, but still, given everything else about it, the sturdiness of it, just a real nice knife. I get the price. I told you it's around $250 I saw on Blade HQ. I get it. I get it. I also get that everyone, you know, it took me a long time. The Techno, the Spiteco Techno, was the first knife I ever bought that was over $100. I had bought all the value knives. I refused to spend money on a knife over a hundred dollars. <laughs> it took me six months before I did that. And the Techno was the first one. I get it, I really do. People think I'm rich, I'm not. It's just, I've been working for a very long time and single right now. So I don't have someone yelling in my ear, stop buying so many knives. But I really like how this is made. It is just so well done. I saw on Blade HQ because I looked it up today. Before I go on, I get a lot of stats from Blade HQ, and they say that it's discounted. So I think the 250 must have been the discounted price. I don't know. You might want to check it out. You might even be able to get it somewhere else. But I love the little fuller. Um, 
it's for looks, obviously, but it does give you that little, <laughs> almost like it's a nail nick there. What a wonderful package. And I don't know why, I guess I am not different than everyone else. Although, you know, you always think you are. <laughs> but they really do a great job with their bronze anodization of their Thai stuff. It just, ugh, it hits everything for me. The knife of the day is the Wee Knife Company Array. And it's just a nice knife for me. And if you like thin and well-done knives and you don't have a problem with Chinese made, there you have it. There is the Chris Reeve Sabenza 31. A lot of times you'll see these things are kind of off balance. I'm not doing lining them up by handle. I'm trying to get the beginning of the scales kind of lined up. And of course I'm reaching behind a camera. So sometimes I'm a little off just to give you the length of the blade. Pretty much the same length, right? Just a real nice knife. The Wee Knife Company Array. There you have it. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I've been grabbing knives off my desk. I have so many knives to show you. Spydeco has to be sending knives, and they are. So we'll be getting some really exciting knives coming from Spydeco. I apologize for the sound. For some reason, my software changed and none of my microphones work with it. So I'm using the microphone off of my camera. I appreciate all of you guys. Hey, listen, I know everything is going on in the world and in the United States. I don't want you to think that I'm blind and dumb and just buying knives. And it hurts me deeply, all of it. Um, it's just the kind of person I am. But let me just say this. I, while I do these videos, are going to suspend reality enough to let you guys see the knives and enjoy them. I just wanted to make sure after I showed the knife that you understand that I'm a human being and uh, am really bothered by things that are happening. But I'm so happy you're there. Please don't share any political stuff because I will just get rid of your comments. I respect your views on China, but if you put them in my comments after I've given you that, I will delete you from the channel. I just, it's just not time to play right now. All right. There's a lot of things to worry about. And uh, Chinese made knives are weighed down on the list, in my humble opinion. I wish you guys all the best. I really do. And I'm sorry I've been whining, but I'm so happy that you guys exist. You take care. Take real good care of yourselves and your families. Goodbye.